uh, of VentureBeat, Matt Marshall. Thank you. So, um, so Br Brady asked to for, for me to come up and, ch and give a few remarks and, of somebody who is not a developer, but who's founder of a site who's covering this space and has seen several uh, cycles, of, if you will, of technology, and maybe look at the business side, right? So at, at, at a time when we're, we're all focused on these really important developer questions, um, and you guys are, are really onto something here. Um, I think it's 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 worthy to look at the some of the business lessons that we've learned. So let me see if I can attach this. I actually drew up uh, a, a deck on the fly. Don't have a structured talk here, but wanted to start with the lessons from Smarter Child. So Robert Hoffner, who who you just saw, he actually didn't know about botanists, and we were talking. I, I invited him to an event that we're having on July 12th and 13th, and I said I was going down to botanists. Are you are you coming? And uh, let's see if I can get this here. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so he, he said he'd, he'd come on down. But one of the things that you you heard from him was that he had 30 million active users. That's the most popular bot in history. And he said until Siri came along. Um, and even that wasn't, he was arguing, he's, he's very opinionated, wasn't popularity. It was forced on you by having Siri in, in, in the phone, right? So I think a, a lot of you would agree, maybe some of you would disagree, but that's, that's his opinion. But um, again, to stick to the business lessons, he's going to be writing his views about what happened to Smarter Child for the first time in VentureBeat, hopefully to publish that tomorrow, and drawing out the lessons of that first successful bot, what worked and what did, and then what happened to the business. And so remember, there's these two storylines. On the business, it's very interesting. It took Twitter, and this is an example in his piece. I don't I want to rob the whole piece of its, its, of its, of its launch tomorrow on, on VentureBeat. But I, and so I want you to read it. But as, he was, as, as I was kind of helping him through this, the, this process, he, he realized that you know, Twitter took 10 years of funding right, uh, from pri private equity, really to get it on its own two feet. You know how long that took. Right? Uh, some of you weren't developing yet, for sure, right? I think in 2004 or 5 when it fir first launched. Um, uh, and I was around, sadly, right? So I'm, I'm 49, and I think I'm like some of the other gray-haired guys. Uh, I've seen Barney. I'm not sure if you have gray hair, but you've been through a cycle or two. Uh, and, and, and a lot of other folks who've been through that first uh, iPhone and, and Facebook launch, you know how long it took for, for a poster child to come along? I was there. I was doing events around mobile. And I was looking for the poster childs. It was, po it was Pandora, right? A co company that you know, pre-existed the launch and all of a sudden la you know, latched on to the, uh, the iOS revolution and, and, uh, and Android. I remember one of the developers there was saying, we need Android like a hole in our head, right? At the, the time, he didn't realize how successful it was going to be. But they launched on, on Andro Android later, obviously. So um, uh, you need cash. Uh, is what you're, what you're going to read from Robert Hoffner, um, and he didn't have the funding from a venture, venture backer that could see him through, um, or have the vision to support him, right? So a lot of investors, there's some smart investors here could probably give a smarter talk than I could on the business side. But investors are two different kinds, right, Barty? I mean, so, so there's, the, uh, there's the investors who are going to be taking the long term, and Twitter had a long term backer, right? Smart Sand Hill Road folks are going to take a long term and back you, whereas unsophisticated ones are going to run for the exits when, as Robert said, the, the bad times are coming. I th forget his expression, but, but the dark days are coming. What was it? Winter. Winter is coming, right? You hear that all the time. So I am I'm going to try and keep this to five minutes. Man, I'm probably already through three. Uh, so real quick, just some observations for you guys because I'm not, tech, not the tech guy, but just on the business side, some of the things I'm seeing. So um, sl slide two, uh, some new waves, right? So AI, this is what I'm seeing as a guy who's just who's looking at the trends and talking to folks in the field, trying to actually solicit the best ideas to bring to MobileBeat on 12th and 13th of July. I'm trying to bring the best, best representation of startups, brands, and what they're doing on bots. I'm trying to find the people who are doing things meaningful, and, and we, we as the audience members can learn something from. So uh, there's AI that's coming together. I had a conversation with Ben Medlock, who's a Cambridge-trained uh, natural language processing expert, who's saying, only now, this is the guy who founded SwiftKey and sold to Microsoft, only now 
are these NLP things coming together in a big way to actually, so that we're on the cusp of a breakthrough? See, Peter Nottingham's hand, we actually had a conversation, yes, sir, Peter uh, Skamraj, um, who uh, was at LinkedIn and um, who's, who's, who's actually agreeing with me on this, is that you have the um, you have this wave, right, of AI coming together, and then you have the chat apps wave where you have two to three billion people. I don't know what the official number is, but we can count what, you know, WeChat and WhatsApp, and you can, it's two to three billion all of a sudden in chat format. And then you have the conversational UI, which is what um, Facebook and others, all these platforms, and Apple did yesterday, are introducing so that businesses can interact with them and opening it up. Telegram starting it last year, and you've had every single player coming on, whether it's text or voice, Apple, Microsoft, Kick, uh, all those guys opening up. So something big's happening there. So those three chains uh, co coming together, and as, as Peter was saying, what we're kind of very early, and uh, you, you, see, you see people trying to figure out how to differentiate themselves, and they're grasping onto NLP and say, we're gonna do this really well, um, but really it's early and they haven't figured it out. So I think that's where we all are today. Um, so um, uh, devs are usually first, so this is the first crowd. What I've noticed is, I, you know, in my years of trying to dissect the, the audience for VentureBeat, you've got the product folks who are a little later, right, from big companies are putting these products together in a more sophisticated way than developers who are creating that kind of prototype. And then you've got the marketers who come along, right, after. And so we are very early. Um, and so you're only seeing now, you know, there's all those companies that supposedly launched on Facebook's platform, right, Shopify, right, the first commerce company. Did anyone actually see anything launch from Shopify? Well, no, because they're taking time to actually get their act together. All those brands, that, the commerce companies that are under a Shopify's umbrella are taking their time. Talk to the Shopify guys and said they only just gotten started. You know, 1-800-Flowers, the textbook that, that Zuckerberg demonstrated, that was put together at the last minute, right? And I, you know, I hope we're going to hear more from 1-800-Flowers about what they're doing. Um, Expedia supposedly launched, right? But no, they only just launched. We wrote about it last week. Only figured out how to get, get that bot uh, out uh, a couple months later. So we are very early. Um, early advantage, uh, it will be over very, very soon. We've heard, we've heard that referred to, um, and I caution you guys, this is going to be over, you know, as, as, as quickly, you know, as, as um, it's probably, uh, you know, a couple of months. Now, six months is kind of the time frame before all the big brands are going to be involved, right? You're seeing them launch. We have a few uh, big brands launching at, at, at Mobile Beat, this event in July 12th, 13th. They're bot strategies. Um, and again, you see in previous generations, Zynga, I was kind of the first on Facebook. Uh, I mentioned Pandora, um, but very few um, posted children until much, much later, where you see the kind of the, the, the phone-specific apps that, that take off. Um, uh, Michael from, from, from many chats had some good points about the conversion rates. That's all true. Really good conversion rates now and traction now to be, to be there for the getting. It's a great time to get started. Um, but then that leads to notifications. And I'm, you know, I'm hearing from brands already that notifications, uh, like KLM's early experiment, hearing that KLM was overwhelmed with inbound from users who were actually using that first bot, right? So that all of a sudden people are actually rejecting the stuff, right? And, and you, you hear it from the chat fuel guys as well, right? 120,000. Uh, chatbots produced by 20,000 uh, developers, and the biggest thing, you know, the biggest problem is just people deleting and, and, and shutting those things off, right? Because um, there's just too much noise, it's, uh, and we heard that concern from um, Slack CEO today. So um, then, uh, uh, microbots are the, are, are, are the most impressive things I've seen, um, and I'm, gonna see, I'm seeing that for for MobileBeat as well. Something Chris Chris has pointed out earlier, but just this idea of really focused bots, right? Just try and stay away from the, um, the, the, the meta bot. Um, and we're seeing that as, as well. You saw that over the course of a couple of days, right? The most compelling presentations you've seen. I mean, so Kip, um, Esther, I mean, and, and even Esther, right? It's, uh, it's kind of meta, right? Because he's presenting every, all aspects of, of Chris, right? You know, how, how many more aspects of Chris Messina could you have gotten? Um, but did you notice how it was organized? It was organized very focused on each one of those with buttons, and I think that's, it's, it's just, it resonates with me somehow, right? Again, I could be wrong, but um, uh, we, the, 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 the problem cases, I mean, Siri, uh, in, in, in the complaints you hear from, from Echo are the ones where, hey, you know, these are so wide ranging that um, they have problems going deep in that natural language process um, instance, right? Where, where, where most companies I'm talking with, booking.com, you're gonna hear some others, where they're doing their own vertical natural language processing for that use case, and, and that's, that's the way to go. Um, and uh, so other things, just a couple more slides here and I'll be done. Um, bots at mobile beat, things we're seeing, just, you know, again, I did this up on the fly, things I've noticed, right? Travel is huge, I don't know why. 
just picking that up because almost every major travel company is coming to Mobile Beat to talk about what they're doing. And we're seeing at least three, possibly four or five new travel focus, whether it's flights or hotels, that are doing really compelling things that I've seen and will be, be, be launching at the event. Other examples, Machine Zone. Um, you know, people talked about games being really early uh, on, on the last generation, right, phones. You're not seeing a lot, but, but you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the thousands uh, of Telegram and others. There's a lot of activity going on. But from the major, major game com companies, they're kind of, kind of not seeing a whole lot. So Machine Zone did something on transportation, running a bot for New Zealand's transportation. Uh, and and the whole, they, they want to take over the whole pu public um, uh, uh, entities of, of New Zealand over time in terms of um, serving them, right? So whether it's traffic lights or parking spaces, setting them up, up with sensors and then having people communicate with them and running a bot on top of that activity feed so you can use artificial intelligence to make real decisions. So that, you know, if a, if a civic center is, um, is, is, is having a big event downtown, you can shut all the parking spot, sp spots within a certain radius and uh, doing some really interesting things. So we're going to be hearing more about that. Um, and I just put uh, routing, Sanse, I don't, have, have any of you heard of the Sanse bot in LA? Just thought it was really interesting where again, it's, there, there's this idea of routing uh, through, through, through intelligence to people. And I thought that was a really interesting model. We've heard that multiple times coming up right, with the handoff to, to people. So it's another interesting model we'll be hearing about. Um, got a whole lot more things we could say. We got SQL coming and, and this whole idea of storytelling. So Google's gonna be doing more of that. Um, you've seen Luca do that. You've seen a lot of that today. So, so I'm looking forward to more of that. So it's another example. Uh, personality, we just heard about. We're doing a bot at, at Mobile Beat. Uh, we won't have the personality. I love the presentation you just presented for Ted. And, and there's a whole ecosystem of bots running events, right? There's a whole other concept, right? A place in time where people are connected. That's going to be another interesting use case. So, um, so yeah, with that, it just uh, it feels like we're six months out uh, for, for when, the, when the big brands are going to be hitting big. And then it's over in terms of early days, right? Because those big brands will be up and running and we really have to find the white space in between those. It's my personal opinion. And so um, if you have something that's interesting, uh, let, let, you know, feel free to reach out to me, M, M, M Marshall at VentureBeat um, for, for MobileBeat in just a month. If you have something that's percolating you'd like to launch or you'd like to talk about, reach out to me. Um, this is a great crowd and it would be my pleasure. So, uh, and, and coverage too. If you have anything interested to cover, VentureBeat would like to cover it. Thank you. Thank you.